Good morning. I'm Tom the Mormon, a compassionate, free-thinking, Christian anarchist, transhumanist vegan who has a love of all life and the blockchain. Just uh, heading back down from beautiful, sunny blue sky, Muskoka, Ontario, uh, to the hospital in Barrie, Ontario, to visit my dear old dad. My father is uh, uh, still in the hospital. They were supposed to be sending him back to the Bracebridge Hospital this morning. But uh, uh, send your love and prayers for my dad because he has not necessarily taking a turn for the worse. He's had atrial fibrillation or elevated heart rate. It means his heart has gone faster over the last few months every once in a while. So they just won't want to run a few more tests. Now I'm praying they don't have to do any kind of surgery or things like that because he's just had surgery. I don't think he's up for more surgery. I don't think that would be... I don't think the timing's very good on that. I think he should recover a little bit and then maybe go back down to get a stent or whatever he might need. But, um... Uh, but yeah, love and prayers uh, for my dad that he has a speedy recovery and gets home soon. Um, uh, I was watching as Litecoin to say, to change the subject back to the blockchain. I was watching Litecoin uh, develop from the mid '30s uh, and shot up into the 40s and it kept going right up to uh, the mid 40s uh, where I thought I'd take a seat and uh, and then I glanced away for a second and glanced back and it had gone up to $53 and then dropped down to $50 uh, again and uh, and uh, so left $5 on the table there um, however there's much to come with the blockchain, uh, financial contracts, uh, crowdfunding projects, uh, all going to be done on the blockchain. I think it's wonderful technology, and I think everybody should be looking into it now while it's still uh, relatively young. It's only a, you know, less than a decade old, and uh, yet it's foreign to most people. Those are who are involved in it uh, have already made a fortune for the most part and are... Uh, those who are just getting into it are, are poised to uh, do quite well for themselves in uh, some way, shape, or form in the industry. The more people that know about it, the better the industry does, uh, the more everybody makes. Uh, so I think it's wonderful in this transition. Uh, it's another technological revolution. It's the blockchain revolution. We've had the industrial revolution. We've had uh, uh, the uh, computer revolution. We've come from the Stone Age right up to the computer revolution, uh, right up to the present. Uh, oh, we had the uh, internet revolution, and now we're uh, on the cusp of the blockchain revolution. So, um, if you don't know what the blockchain is, Google what is the blockchain. Have a look around. Tune into my videos. Like, share, uh, uh, re-steam, uh, up-post. Uh, upvote, or repost, uh, share these videos with your friends, um, uh, put my videos on your own website if you like, uh, that'd be great, I mean, um, uh, you're welcome to uh, put my videos on your site and monetize them and, and have a ball. Um, back to my dad now, I'm just uh, heading back down there. And, uh, just, uh, you know, I know they want to take perfectly good care of him. They've got a good hospital up here, too. They don't want to ship him back and forth if in the event he would need surgery, if anything uh, was major. Uh, my father suffers from, uh, uh pa panic attacks. He's, he gets these, um, uh, he's been on oxygen for six years now, and, uh, since he quit smoking cigarettes, and, uh, he has these panic attacks that um, affect him when he uh, uh, when he can't breathe. When he can't breathe, he, he uh, starts to panic and he worries that 
won't be able to uh, to breathe. Uh, so the the uh, the puffers that he uses doesn't see, don't seem to help. And um, so uh, when he's having a panic attack, his heart rate goes uh, sky high just because it's like running around the block um, several times for him. He gets worried and scared and, and uh, just like, uh, you know, if you're on a scary ride uh, or something, uh, your heart goes up a little bit. So they've got all the facilities in the hospital to check all these things, so they're giving them a they sent him to a different room to check on all these things for him um, to see if what he needs is uh, some extra cardiac care. And um, as I mentioned in previous videos, my son uh, had uh, has a pacemaker and was uh, uh, a sick kid's hospital patient from before the time he was born and uh, he's had uh, several heart surgeries so when it comes to hearts and heart surgery I get a little bit worried so big prayers and shout out go out to my my dad Dr. Thomas Gleason uh, 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 he's lived a wonderful life but we don't want him to go yet uh, he's a good man he's helped many many people mentor in so many ways and uh, he's my dear old dad I love him. so as we head on forward into the week to my American brothers and sisters uh, happy 4th of July Independence Day um, I hope you guys can enjoy this day celebrate with great joy um, and your, your fa the founding fathers of the United States of America uh, had the ball in the right place they were they had their head on straight when it came to uh, trying to do things independently of uh, the grandiose government um, that can be sometimes a little bit overbearing. Uh, the government should really uh, be the people's servants. Uh, they're service workers that, that are they're hired to help society and civilization, uh, not the other way around. Uh, people in society and civilization are not here to be at the beck and call and be slaves for the government. But I do mention that I am not only Christian, not only Canadian, not only transhumanist, vegan, compassionate, and Mormon. I am an anarchist in terms that I believe that no man or woman or child should be enslaved to any government. We are all free spirits of our heavenly parents. And we should have our agency to choose the right and to choose and worship what we want to, what we, where we want to, how we want to. Because there is truth in so many things and so many facets of life. Life is packed with truth. Being a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I've been on a quest for truth and to get the all the all the truth from the restored gospel of Jesus Christ. Because there are many truths, and I respect how other people. live their lives and there's truth in so many things and I embrace these truths and that's something that is a common thread throughout all cultures and societies that 
we don't need it to be enforced by any government. We are all brothers and sisters in this world. We should all be here to love each other and lift each other up and not find ways to war with each other or battle with each other or spend money on weapons. We should really be just bearing our weapons, not our brothers and sisters in the wars. And uh, they keep those weapons under the ground and just all make the big decision not to use them anymore. And work together to crowdfund, to help alleviate world poverty, to help alleviate uh, world uh, financial corruption and political corruption. If you have any questions, comments, criticisms, I embrace all that you have to say. I, I encourage you to uh, post it in the uh, comment bar and description bar uh, below. In the, down in the comment bar, yeah. Tell me what you think. Like my posts, share them with your friends, Read the Book of Mormon, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.